TuneIn. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. You are what you believe you are. Humans are powerful magicians. You have the power to make yourself what you are right now, but it's not your reasoning mind that controls your power. It's what you believe. You love it. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow Industrials up 249, NASDAQ up 64, SPs up 26. That gives the uh, NASDAQ up 8 tenths of 1%, SPs and Dow up 1%. Gold contract, gold contract as well as silver caught the bid. You have the gold contract up $44, trading at 13 dollars silver up 48 cents, $15.44. Oil, oil, also caught the bid up $2.89, $56.65 a barrel. Notes and bonds. You get the 10-year note up two ticks, 127.30. 30-year bond up six, 155.20. The 10-year folks broke the 2% yield out here today. We hit 1.98. And bottom line, uh, it looks to me like uh, we're going to be running into this 1.73. King Dollar. King Dollar came back down, has the volume on the move. The second day with 25,000 contracts on the way down. You're at 96,165. King Dollar looks like it wants to go after the bottom of this consolidation, which is the one, which is the 94 mark. Euro is at 112 to 1 US dollar. Yen is at 107.31. And the pound is at 127 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. I want to know what's going on in your world. Let's go to the world of gold, man. Bottom line is that that's what really caught the bid out here today, as, as did oil. Uh, gold and oil, uh, big numbers. So gold contract out here today, folks, did 513,000 contracts, monster contract volume, runs to 1397. And if we do take a look at this uh, contract on a continuous basis, what you're going to see is that you broke the consolidation that we've been in, and we've been in this consolidation uh, going all the way back inside the gold market until 2013. Uh, you, you got over the high that was generated out here. The, the last high that was generated out here was January of 2018. That was 1365. You get over the high that was generated out here in, August, in July of 2016. That's 1377. You got right to the high of March of 2014. So you have two more highs and if we get one more day like this tomorrow, folks, what that will do, well, right now, I can make the case that, yeah, you're going to go to the all-time highs. You get one more day like this, and then guess what? 1920 is going to be coming at you. It's pretty intense. And that's the all-time high in gold. That was the high that was generated out here in September of 2011. This is quite a consolidation, man. I mean, it's pretty sick, actually. So we're right at the top of it, and you're firing up at the top of that with wide price spread, accelerated volume, so you're moving to break a trend with conviction. And that's the type of that's the type of move you want you want when you can break it with conviction. Let's go take a look at the copper market, because copper basically bottom line also got off the lows. And now you're moving also with strength. And this is going to be about the dollar now, okay? Bottom line, you know, copper had gone from a $3 price point uh, three months ago, hit a low uh, a week and a half ago of $2.59 a pound. We're at, three, we're at 271 This wants to go all the way back to $3. Big number. Oil. We take a look at the oil market. What we have inside the oil market is this. Oil market caught a bid. You... Now, oil's been a one-way deal. There's no, there's no doubt about that. You know, oil's, you know, when we go back and look at oil in, in April, April was uh, $66. Uh, we got down to a price point of 50 That was uh, generated uh, about two weeks ago. Um, it's going to still have some real flack at 57.33. And if we do take a look at the correlation of uh, how higher versus lower, what you're going to see out here is that right now you're just at the, you're at the point 382 mark of the down move. You know, so it's going to be a little bit more than that, but bottom line is that it did catch the bid. 
King Dollar. What do you have with King Dollar? King Dollar came down, has volume on the way down. Uh, King Dollar's at 96,155, and King Dollar does look like that it wants to get into this 94 mark. Let's go to Jeff in Texas. Hey, Jeff, what's going on? Texas Jack. How you doing there, Tom? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? I'm doing good. Hey, did you buy up this market, man, and get a short squeeze while I'm doing so good or what? Because you were bearish a couple days ago. I was bearish, but no, I'm 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 not. I, I figured you could. Go ahead. No, go ahead. No, I thought you, you short squeezed me, man. You, you, you gave me a lift. Oh, that's a good thing. That's good. <laughs> so what are we going to look at? There? What are we going to look at? Uh, let's look at XOM, man. That's a good tradable stock. Oil's yeah. doing good. Oil market's a great to trade, no doubt. So you get Exxon Mobil, the low's 64, high's 87. You're trading 76.61. Okay, so you get volume on this today. Okay, so let's see. So you get it 940. Yeah, you get a small ABC up. So your, your B point on this is 75.81. That was out there from the 11th. 75.81. Okay. So you got you get five points. Your C yeah. point is 73. So that's 78.81 as your A to B equals C to D. And you got volume in this today. So 78. That can that can make that. Well, that swing point around 83. dollars Do you think it'll go up to that, or how do you how do you gauge that when you look at this pattern with the oil? What it's doing? Yeah, let me let me put this on a week. You're considering Iran. A second. You know, you got all this yeah. buzzing around, all that the scare and. Well, it had. Yeah, you, you can. It's a close call. What happens is this. It's a close call as to the 83 right now, but it's not for the right. full ABC structure on the way up. Because what will yeah. end up happening is probably going to have to build more cars, you know, because you got some juice here on the way down. You get 15. You need a little more juice, but don't, don't, don't think you're going to go to the moon. Yeah, not on, this, not on the first move. Not on the first move. Right. Yeah, they have to build up a little more cars. And then what's going to happen right now, let's see what Chevron's doing, because Chevron's going to try to buy a company. I'm curious as to what. So Chevron just come out. That's trading one. So they're going to try to bid for Chevron Yeah, that looks Phillips. a little bit better, that chart. They're going to bid for Nova Chemicals. Well, we'll see what that affects. Cooking, yeah. brother. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. Got that Trump rally in Orlando, man. That was pretty good. I watched that. I like that, man. Uh, that's a beautiful thing. I love it, man. Okay. Hey, whatever you think about... And whatever you focus on grows. Have that, a good one, pal. You too, man. Take care. Stay right there, folks. Come right back with our man, Mr. Basil Chapman.